Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is Commercial Commentary. This is episode 53 of Commercial Commentary, so welcome to the beginning of year two. Today we're going to cover the method of advertising. Some advertisers go very subtle. Some advertisers go a bit over the top. We're going to examine both today. We're going to start with Calvin Klein and end with Duralast Battery. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first. So I assume, since they have Kate Moss doing the advertising, they couldn't afford someone to do hair and makeup. Hmm. Obsession. One. Obsession. Two. You'll notice the sets are very minimalist. The costume is minimalist. The makeup and hair, non-existent. How much money could they have spent on this commercial? Obsession. Three. Obsession from Calvin Klein. So I see that as the most minimal of advertising. Very little sets, hair and makeup, non-existent. Well, she has hair, but it's not done. Costuming, not much. Only say the name of the product three times, but don't define what it is until the very end of the commercial. And then you see a picture of the product, which we, I guess, assume it's a fragrance for men. Now let's look at a more over-the-top type of advertising. I'm MMA champ, Chuck Liddell. I hit stuff. Yes, that's UFC champion Chuck Liddell. And he's perfectly suited to advertise a battery because he hits stuff. What? Hard. Real hard. So I know tough. The Duralast is tough. So the Duralast battery is tough. It delivers a lot of electrical power. And Chuck Liddell is tough because he hits stuff. Hard. Really hard. What? Oh, I so want one of those, a gun that freezes things. Why can't we have that? You can take the cold and the heat. Trust me, this battery can beat a pure battery. So he destroys three fighter jets, where they are, and he says this battery can beat up your battery. Really? Does it hit? Hit hard? Blue toenail polish. Interesting choice for a battery commercial. Duralast, proven tough. Get in the zone. 